It's morphin' time! <laughs> uh, what's going on everybody? This is Greg Morales with Higher Function Productions and today we have another movie review for you. We're going to be talking about Saban's Power Rangers. Just to clarify, this is a non-spoilers review. We're not going to be talking about any spoilers or plot details specific to the progression of the story, so you don't have to worry about that. We're only going to be talking about what is good, things that were not so good, and things to discuss if you're a parent or considering taking your children to go see this movie, and topics to discuss with children after the movie is over. Actually, the show for me was sort of forbidden fruit because of the fact that my parents didn't like it and they thought that it was too violent and too much punching and kicking and definitely not something I should be getting into because then next thing you know I'm going to want to do that to my friends or people around me so I wasn't allowed to watch it a whole lot but when I grew up I just I remember it the nostalgia and the feels from watching that show and that carried over very well into this movie because this is a big nostalgia fact actually that's one of the biggest things that I will say is a strong point for this movie the nostalgia because you got tons of feels watching this movie thinking about um, just good old times in the 90s when things were simpler and basically watching Power Rangers was your escape from reality for a little bit and that's what this movie is and it's a great time seriously kids are getting into it parents are loving it it reminds them of their childhood so yeah nostalgia was a great thing that this movie had and it definitely added to the experience and that's why you know definitely you know it is worth seeing in theaters for that feels or those feels that you get when you were a kid and you enjoyed watching Power Rangers as a kid. Another thing I will say that definitely fit this movie really well was the tone. Like, it was as good as we could have gotten for a Power Rangers movie in 2017 with an actual budget of over a hundred million dollars that was filmed like maybe an hour away from where I am. Um, like, it was amazing. I thought it was great for what like they were trying to do re-envision the franchise, make it relevant again. I thought that like it absolutely was the perfect rendition that they could have done. So the tone is another good reason why this movie is awesome. Um, yeah, definitely dark, darker and kind of gritty. This kind of reminded me of The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and maybe a little bit of Batman Begins. Like, yeah, not everything needs to be as dark or as gritty, but this definitely fit along the lines of The Amazing Spider-Man 1 maybe a little bit of the first Spider-Man movie, a little bit of Project Almanac, well, it was the same director, but yeah, definitely the tone of that movie was was right for what they were trying to do. And so another really cool thing that I loved about this film was the suits. Now, Power Rangers has been known to be really cheesy in the past and like brightly colored spandex was the big thing that was the the the, the draw for them. They don't have that this time. They have like actual like hard armor that's what they're calling it like that they morph into and it looks sick it's like almost like an iron man suit that they have but it's it's great and honestly i think that uh if they're choosing to go along this line with this new series of films because yeah they're gonna make more like this is a good way to go about it because those suits look legit they look awesome they look like real superheroes and i think they're gonna like they're gonna burst into the the market with the superhero genre just exploding right now and this being the golden age of superhero films it couldn't be a better time so yeah i'm loving the suits oh and yes the characters these are very very lovable relatable characters and the thing is they're not necessarily clean cut like you know just this is the the one person this is the one other person that has this character this quality like they're pretty diverse they're diverse teenagers in high school these are actually teenagers with attitude and they're actually going through some stuff that like, you know, they need to work through and that is legitimate. And like, I feel like that's gonna help draw people in because we got like variety in the characters. And yeah, even though it's the same character named from the earlier Power Ranger TV show, they're not related to the characters from the TV show. This is a reboot, it's a reimagining. So this is, this is completely different from the TV show that you remember. There's good throwbacks to it. And yeah, the characters have the same names, but it's it's different. It's a reboot. And Rita Repulsa, another good thing. Um, Elizabeth Banks, seriously, 
Lionsgate knows how to, you know, basically take her and do a Transformation Tuesday on her. Because, like, yeah, that did not seem like Elizabeth Banks at all. Like, they done messed around with her in the costume department and the makeup. And, yeah, she was, like, very threatening at times, honestly. I feel like some kids that, like, maybe are not into, like, scary films or anything that's really intense, like, with a really intense villain, like... At times, I was, like, slightly terrified of what they did to her. So, yeah, good job on making Rita look scary. Seriously, she did not look campy or cheesy. She was very, very terrifying. She looked very, very frightening. Uh, now on to some things that were not so good about the Power Rangers movie. Um, one thing, this is just my opinion, but uh, the choices of music that they used throughout the movie, sometimes I feel like they didn't fit or were oddly placed and... It kind of took me out of the moment, and I thought it could have been, like, they could have chosen better music for certain things, but, you know, the score, the score is great. And some of the songs that they have on there are good songs, just part of me was just thinking, man, I don't know if that would fit the best there. So that's, that's, that's one thing. That's just one thing. Another thing I will say is the pacing of the film, like, because it, it moves really, really fast. I think it still has that... TV show mentality where you gotta quickly go from place to place to place, but I feel like there were several scenes where they could have taken their time, drawn things out, helped establish things a little bit more, but we didn't get that, so it's unfortunate, but it's it's it was fine. It was okay. And the last thing that I really think was, well, th this is the only big negative uh, thought on the movie. Jason David Frank and Amy Jo Johnson's cameo, that was a missed opportunity. Seriously, they basically just show up in a scene. I'm not gonna t uh, tell you where it is, but basically it happens so fast that basically if you blink, you're gonna miss it. And they're basically not vital or key to anything in the story or in the movie. And I was just like, oh, come on, seriously. You have the original green and the original pink ranger and you just have them show up randomly and then they're, they're gone. That's it. I feel like they could have used them for a little bit more. I mean, I know they wanted to be a reboot and distance themselves from the original TV show, but it would have been so good to have at least given them some lines. Come on. Seriously. Could have been better. All I'm saying, don't waste them next time. Next movie, give them some lines. Now onto the parent scatter. Things to discuss if you are a parent and you are considering taking your child to this movie. Well, as expected, of course, this is a violent movie. It's Power Rangers. Power Rangers has always been known for its violence and its nature to incite violence, especially with kids. Now, as I was walking out of the movie theater, I saw little boys that had just watched the movie who were punching and kicking each other because they just saw it in the movie. And I was just like, yep, it's the same thing. That's why I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was a kid. So yeah, violence is about between a three and a half to a four. It's very intense. There's a lot of frightening scenes, especially with Rita Repulsa that kids might not be into so if you're a parent and you're considering taking your child I'd say anybody older than eight or nine I mean I know kids are gonna want to see it but yeah some of it is just pretty intense so at your discretion parents it's really up to you guys but at the same time I just I'm speaking as a child that was sheltered from watching this as a kid who loves it now but does not want to see like any children you know, negatively affected like this, why my parents were afraid. So yeah, it's a violent film, but you know, at your discretion, parents. Uh, things to discuss, uh, language. There's not a whole lot of language to be aware of. I mean, there are a couple curse words, but definitely nothing overly used or enough to, you know, really make a lasting impact on the film. Like half the time I forgot that, you know, like this is, uh, a Power Rangers film because usually it's so clean on TV and this one had a couple of couple of curse words in it but you know definitely didn't kill the story so sexual content well there is no whole lot of sexual content in this film there's no um, big romance or anything like that there are a few mentions um, to certain um, innuendos and certain things that are kind of explicit but nothing graphically shown so I think we're fine there. There is mention of a character's uh, sexuality and that one of the characters is uh, homosexual. Won't say who it is, but yeah, just be aware, parents, that is part of the part of the story. So just, you know, be advised on that if you are, you know, considering 
taking your kids to it and you know having them like ask questions afterwards just you know letting you know that it is, it is in there but it's definitely where you're just like oh like there's there's explicit scenes or you know something that you know is basically just going to make your kids just go Whoop. so no you're fine there now onto the family guide or things to discuss if you're a parent and you're looking for morals or lessons to take and apply to your children's lives after watching Power Rangers. The theme of identity and friendship is a big part of the movie. It plays a big part into the plot with the characters, discovering who they are and how they're meant to work together, how they're stronger together. And I definitely think that uh, identity is a big part because of the fact that they all come from a background where they've all made mistakes. They've all had these episodes in their lives where uh, things haven't gone as well as they would have liked or as their parents would have liked and they have to live with those consequences and try to move forward. Move forward and you know make their lives better than they were originally. So I think that's a great theme that plays well into the narrative and the structure of the story. Having the kids discover who they are and you know becoming friends along the way because that's something that every kid needs. Every kid needs to know and feel comfortable with themselves and know who they are and live with their decisions that they make and also have that play into their friendships and their relationships with other people because you know your friend has to like you exactly the way you are and if you don't know that and you know they don't know that you know then you're not going to have a really good foundation or basis for your friendship. Another issue is caring for one another because there is a big component of providing care and a genuine I'd say like love and respect for a lot of people that I wouldn't say all people have it in the world but definitely the Power Rangers definitely needed that because the, like that's why the teaser poster said together we are more you need to have some sort of um love and care for another person if you're going to be successful or going to find your purpose and I think that's something the kids need too they need to know that they, they should show love and care for everyone around them. Respect, uh, just being general good people and, you know, wanting to reach out to people around them. That's definitely what makes, that's definitely what makes for um, a good friendship or good relationships in the future. And lastly, as always, every superhero movie has this, but the element of teamwork and working together, that's obviously what Power Rangers is all about. That's what the poster says. That's what the show promotes. Teamwork, being together, with the five rangers all working together, they come together, they make the Megazord, and they fight better together. Like, it's obvious that that's there. So I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, the movie overly enforces it, but it's definitely strewn throughout the plot and definitely encourages them to be together, to work together, to be friends. And every kid needs that. This, I've said this several times before, but kids need to know that you work better together, that when you are a team, when you are thinking collectively with your friends on a project or thinking about something, then yeah, they're like you're gonna find some, like a lot more success than doing it on your own. So overall, Saban's Power Rangers, it's a good time at the movies, super um, reminiscent of the nostalgia is there, parents will love it, kids will love it and get into it with the fighting and the graphics and just the CGI, it's just, it's definitely what it needed to be. It's definitely the facelift for the franchise that uh, it definitely needed, uh, definitely good for uh, kids and teenagers and parents. People of all ages, I think, can enjoy this film. And I definitely say think it's worth going to see in theaters again, which is probably why I'm going to go see it again. So Power Rangers is going to be getting an A for me. Thanks so much for watching this review. If you're new here, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share if you like this video. For more information on Higher Function and what we're going to be doing this year, check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are down below, as well as our website. If you'd like to book Higher Function for a performance, for a birthday party, or a special event, now booking for the Red Ranger, as I've got it on right now, yes. Uh, feel free to check us out at our website. You can always contact us to book a performance. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Greg Morass. This is Higher Function. Providing entertainment is simple, but what we do is based on a higher function. And we'll see you guys next time. May the power protect you.